YouTube, it's Mortimer, and I have another new shoe unboxing for you guys. I've been having like shoe Christmas here lately, it's awesome. But for those of you who are wondering, I got these from envyshoes.com and they are the best, like I said in my last Envy shoe unboxing video. Um, they shipped to me really fast. I got these pretty much overnight. And with every order, they also include these awesome little shoe bags that say Envy Shoes. And they have like a little Jeffrey Campbell shoe on it. And it's a drawstring bag. And those are just to like keep your shoes safe while you're like leaving them in your closet so they get cat fur and dust on them and stuff. Kind of like a, um, they have like dust bags, come with like really fancy handbags. It's like one of those for your shoes. Because you're paying a lot of money for your shoes and you want to take care of them, right? Um, so these are Jeffrey Campbell's, of course. And these are the infamous Big Lita. And to do a unboxing of the Big Lita, of course I had to wear my spiked hat because we're going into goth grunge territory with these shoes. Um, so here's one I already took all of the stuffing out of and everything and in its glory. <laughs> this is like, gosh, seven inch heel? I don't know. Really big heel, really clunky sole. Um, these were kind of made to be a versus, like a counterpart against the Unif Hellbounds. Yeah, like I think those are what they are, the Hellbounds. They're basically the same shoe, except they have like rainbow lacing and interchangeable lacing. It comes with several different laces. Um, but this is the answer to that made by Jeffrey Campbell because I saw how popular that was. Or maybe they came at the same time and this one just didn't get as popular. Let me know down in the comments if you know the real story. But all I know is that they're both very similar. They both came out around the same time and I believe this one came out later. But I wanted to get this one instead of the Unif version because I am a Jeffrey Campbell kind of girl. And these I could not resist. They so remind me of like the Munsters. Like do you remember that old black and white TV show? It kind of reminds me of something that he would wear. But um, it came with all kinds of packaging inside and of course the standard dust bag for your shoes which is nowhere near as cute as the one from envyshoes.com because this one is just kind of like hospital mesh. Like hospital gown mesh, you know, like it's not very nice. Um, but I really like these and I can't wait to do an outfit to show you guys what they look like on and all that jazz. So I'm sure you guys are all wondering, how comfortable are these, Susie? Are these really hard to walk in? And the answer is actually no. Um, if you look at where the heel ends, like right here, it probably ends right here and here. So your foot's only about on like an inch or two incline there. So it's almost like you're wearing kitten heels. Um, all you gotta do is get used to the fact that you're walking basically on stilts and you'll be fine. Um, I have grown up wearing really clunky, tall shoes and heels and it's no problem for me to walk in. I mean, essentially you're just walking in a one inch heel, so it's not that bad. Um, you just gotta be mindful of where you step. And also when you walk, your foot is only touching <laughs> about like eight square inches total. So you also have to be careful you're walking on flat ground, not cobblestone, not hilly hillside somewhere in the desert or forest or wherever, you know, wherever your journeys may take you, uh, I would not wear these out hiking. But they are very comfortable to walk in if you wanted to wear them out, say, shopping, you know, like to dinner or something. These would be really cute. But I'm going to go ahead and cut to a video of me wearing the shoes. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave one down below. And please don't forget to subscribe. I have new videos up every weekday, and I look forward to seeing you guys all again real soon. Bye, guys.